Hello my soccer universe to the 2021 Serie A jersey review as I love to call it the Italians do it the same way jerseys of the most beautiful championship of the world and when you just look back there it's just a small sampling of what can be in Serie A I truly think that in terms of jerseys Serie A is the best league bar none uh, well, let's say the best traditional league. Um, again, I will do this in four parts. Each part will have four teams where we look at all the jerseys that I could uh, get at the time. Uh, this time I have also the advantage to have seen some, if not most of the jerseys already in action. So I can give you a little bit of feeling of that as well. And also I decided the way I split up the video is the same as I did it last year and I did already for a Premier League church as review. I took last year's table, I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1 and so on. And everyone that it has a 1 is now in this video, which means of course Juventus. And then I said, yeah, and let's take the jersey of the smallest team that I have in this video. Problem is in the first video I only have a Juve jersey, so yeah. Juventus it is. It is a really nice jersey though, so uh, I'm not too unhappy, but still I was hoping that I can wear all the calories, Parmas and so on uh, coming up. But a lot of preamble, let's get started. We start with Genoa, who last season I think I gave uh, the highest average rating for all of their three jerseys. They are again with Kappa and um, as of now they are unsponsored which immediately improves the look. I mean I saw a Genoa game that they really didn't have a sponsor. Makes for a great look, maybe not good for the team and Genoa has not been all that great. Um, it's a classic Genoa look uh, if you see it and what I find uh, nice is that the half half look also goes over on the back at least from what I've seen so far because there's no need for it. The red and the dark blue are both dark colors with a white number on there and now Serie A has its uh, custom font for all the jerseys which honestly doesn't look all that bad and I'm actually happy because uh, especially Roma and Inter came with uh, the Nike teams came up with very crazy fonts and even the Puma fonts were not all that great. Back to Genoa. Um, it's a classic look, but I don't understand the additional strapping in there. Why does it need to be also the gold? Yes, Genoa is the oldest professional team in Italy, but they have not won anything in millions of years. And if anything, they are really on the way down. I think though, it is a you know, typical Genoa jersey. It's a strong look. I like um, the look but it is not my favorite Genoa jersey and I would give this uh, especially the striping puts me this like Galatasaray last season it's not a look that I'm uh, very fond of so I give this seven stars the away jersey hits again <laughs> hits me at the right spots I love when you take a white away jersey and I think for Serie A a white away jersey or you should have at least one white jersey in there you cannot go wrong with that uh, and we can debate whether the UV jersey is a white or a black jersey. Most of the time it's a white jersey with a little bit of black on there. Uh, in England I said yellow. In Italy it should always be a white jer jersey in there. Um, so that makes already sense. And then uh, the center strap. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You have the close colors. You preserve the kind, uh, kind of the half half look. Uh, I actually like the color that... Um, a kappa is dishing out this time and then e even the crest sticks out quite nicely. Uh, this is a very very strong look. I mean the only thing that could be better but would maybe not fit with Genoa is if the it was off center. That even gets me a little bit more but still very strong look. I'm gonna give this nine stars. And the third jersey, um, not sure how much contrast provides to the home jersey. And again, I'm not so sure about all this pixelated um, camo effect there with, with uh, blue tones getting darker and darker and darker. Also the monochromatic golden crest, uh, you know, you have the half and half crest. I, I think it cheapens the look a little bit, but it makes for a very dark jersey. It's a beautiful jersey, especially with the red in there. I think I'm, I'm more bothered by the, by the gold than the red in there. But it's a, it's a really, really, really nice jersey. They were wearing this uh, in the first game against Napoli, which went all the um, 
way down uh, where I think the away jersey would have, uh, the home jersey would have done, all of the jerseys probably would have done fine. Uh, so I didn't understand it quite there. Um, the camo look puts me off. Uh, other than that, it's a nice dark blue jersey, which is something I always like. And so I'm going to give this, yeah, let's... Eight stars. Let's move on to Hellas Verona, our first Macron. And uh, that, that's the other thing. We have um, Macron is taking over Serie A in many, in, in many ways. But I always have the feeling uh, what we don't have in Serie A is many templates. I actually think that this season we barely have a template jersey. This almost comes the closest because Macron's weird uh, that they introduced last season slivers here um, along the shoulders. That's the only real downside. I'm not so fond about the side striping as well too, because well. I really love the color. And the pattern here uh, is a little bit reflective of the new crest. It's kind of a little bit all stitched together. We'll see this at the third jersey then uh, very nicely. The new crest, I think, is an evolution from the previous one. It is much cleaner lo uh, lo looking. You actually see well what's going on, but it keeps also the main, it keeps the ladder, which is a symbol of, uh, I think, Scalieri family, which uh, old Verona, where Verona is family. You have the two Mastiffs forming a V for Verona, and uh, which were also in the original crest. You just drop the shield with uh, the yellow and blue, which looked nice per se, but you couldn't really tell what's going on. And I think in this modern age, a uh, simplified crest makes a whole lot of sense. So for that reason, I think they're doing a really good job here. Uh, one thing I wish here was that the sponsor was uh, yellow too although it's not so uh, intrusive here. And again, um, the short colors, I like them wider. I don't like this new kind of shortish color. Um, the pattern, as I said, it refers to the crest. I'm not too sold on it, but it gives it a little bit of special look there. Um, it doesn't excite me though. There are many, too many quirks in there. Uh, so for that reason, I'm going six stars. Uh, the away jersey has a nicer color. It basically re, uh, reverses the colors in many ways. Here the sponsor has the accent color, so it is a little bit more um, solid look, uh, more unified look in a way. I still don't like the slivers. I think the color, although I like it better, it's basically three color stars in one. You have the um, short color, you have the V insert, and then you have kind of a round neck color. So uh, it's maybe trying a little bit too much, but it's a better jersey. I also like the slight pinstriping in there. I would say that's a seven star jersey. And potentially the best one is again, like last, last season, the third jersey, but uh, it's not as good as last season's third jersey, which is one that honestly, I would love to have. Um, Again, the slivers put me off the collar. Actually, I like here, uh, this is, you know, this is kind of a round, ne uh, round neck with a V insert. Um, the slivers, this is just off pudding. If that wall wasn't there, was a pure white jersey with a little bit, I think this would look great. Uh, the yellow insert here on the sleeve is also a little bit off, but I think the big thing is that on the proper right side, you have basically the crest going front and back, which, uh, is also the pattern that we see on the home jersey. So uh, I really like this one, but I still wouldn't go higher than seven stars. But uh, if I had to choose among those three, this is probably the one that I, I, I would say looks the best. And I realized that many times, and the reason why I'm doing other Serie A videos, because I get jerseys for other leagues that I could have done. And, and, and there is a very often, I like white jerseys the best because they make the colors pop and then I wonder why do I have only white jerseys? At least here, I only managed to put two up there, so kind of keep it colorful. Move on to the big guys, Juventus again, white jersey uh, with paintbrush <laughs> strokes. First things first, I'm glad we're back to the striped look. I hated the half and half look, although I almost bought the jersey, almost. Uh, I also find the gold is very appropriate. I actually like the Jeep in gold. I think this looks good and also the crest. I think that looks fine. Uh, uh, even the paintbrush, uh, when you watch it in game, it looks fine. My biggest complaint here is that the back is all white and then you have the black num numbers on there. Please give me some stripes on the back. Uh, 
I should turn this jer jersey around to show you how you can do it with a striped jersey quite nicely. Do you see the number 10 here? Just make a box. Yes, it will ruin the paintbrush effect. Or put the number in a circle or, some, or, so, or something. Just do the same on the, on the back as you do on the front. Other than that, I have to say that I really like this. Uh, I also uh, have seen that each jersey is unique because they just take one big uh, fabric and cut out the thing with it. with the straps. So from jersey to jersey, you get a slightly different pattern. That actually looks nice. I have to say that the Juventus crest, now that they removed the lettering on top, and I'm getting more and more used, and I'm also getting more used to it. It looks, it's, it's a strong look. You have a J there, it looks fine. The gold stripes on the side, Adidas, that might be a touch too much, but uh, it's a much improved look. Is it perfect? No, there's too much white uh, black stripes are too thin. This is better and probably thinner stripes would even be better. Um, I still would say it's a seven star look. Um, the away jersey, here I wish the dark blue, wonderful. But why white? Why? Either make it black and do the white or make it dark blue with yellow and then you have something that it connects to history. Yes, it's this template of Adidas that I don't like the, 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 the much with uh, kind of the shoulders going here. But it is a really, really nice looking jersey. It just doesn't say much Juventus to me, to be honest. Uh, it would with some yellow in there. Uh, and for that reason, I'm also only going to give this uh, seven stars, but it's not a bad look. That is reserved for the third jersey. Uh, what? Yes, we have Matthias de Licht, uh, who is Dutch, but that's the only thing I can think of. Orange is not a UV color. If this was yellow and blue. It's a yellow and blue. That's all right, but this is just to make this is for the fashion statement market and then on the back it's all orange in a completely different tone so uh doesn't make it really really better this is a hideous jersey as they come and probably so good that i like it even nah nah this is not a juventus this is and this is what, 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 what i hate in nowadays market um you take a jersey and you slap on a crest and then say this is our new look when there is nothing, no colors that are um, connecting there. When I look, for instance, at this Roma jersey here, this is a club color. It makes sense to have this. Orange is, has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Juventus. If this was a Roma jersey, we would, uh, I, I would think a little bit differently. But this is just a cash grab two-star jersey. Okay, got a little bit excited. Let's go to Sassuolo. Who are now the second team of Puma after having a really nice cup of jersey last, last season? One that I actually like. This is more the classic Sassuolo look uh, with thin stripes. You see the temporary 100 year crest that I'm in my videos not updating uh, in the standings because I want to. I think this is just a gimmick on there. Um, but it looks quite nice overall. I wish the sleeves were also striped and there's a, you know, a little bit much, too much paneling going, going, going on, but it is a nice look. There you have 100 year crest, could also, when I look at the real, it could also look, use a little bit more. But the map by sponsor is outlined in gold, as it should be for 100 year jersey. I think it's a classic enough looking jersey with some quirks. For that reason, I'm also only going to give this seven stars. The away jersey, I like a whole lot better. And you see, this is just a shot from, uh, I think, Youth League or uh, Ladies, uh, Ladies League turn, uh, turn, turn, tournament. But I really like the white and then the chest band for the sponsor. <laughs> Cannot go much, uh, do much wrong here. Only thing, make the color black and green and maybe give a little bit of black outline here too to feature the other club color, not only on the logo. But strong look, eight stars. And we finish with another Turin team, Toro from Torino. Homa, Yoma, Joma, I actually don't know how you, I know it's Spanish, uh, but I think the, it's probably Yoma, probably Joma, 
You let me know in the com comments, comments below what you think it is. I, and I don't want to hear uh, how you think it should be uh, so in English. I want to hear this is a Spanish company. I want to hear the proper Spanish pronunciation. That's what I want to hear. So drop, drop, drop that below. Yeah, typical Torino jersey. It is granite red. It has the leaping bull on the side, which is a touch that I love a lot. I think this makes it an instant fa favorite of mine. The only thing is too many sponsors. That drop it down. I'm not so sold on the color either, although it, I think it looks nice. If the Beretta was not there, I think I would actually really think of uh, adding this here to the wall because I think Torino should be a team that should be up there. Um, it's a strong look. It's a strong, it's classic Torino look. Um, I like last year's with a little bit more classic color, so this is a little bit more sportish, but you know, gotta take it as, as, as it is. Um, I would say eight stars. Uh, the Avager is the same thing in white. Here we have a nicer color. Um, still the sponsor. I don't wanna give, I'm inclined to give this nine, but you cannot put the Beretta over the S of Suzuki. Eight stars on that, it's fine. Uh, the only thing very, very lo lose me is the mint green, which was last year's favorite color. Um, and then fulls the Beretta suddenly full color. This make is garish. This is, yeah, I guess it's all right, but it's not more than a four star jersey. Well, that was it for the first part. Let me know which jerseys you like and which ones you dislike. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for some more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get an update whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye.